Termites can devastate your home if left unchecked. It doesn't take them long to chew through structural beams and cause extensive damage. Getting a regular termite inspection will help you to catch the problem while it's still manageable. You'll save your house a lot of damage and save yourself a lot of money. If you spy the beginnings of a termite infestation in a pile of wood in your attic or some firewood next to your house, for example, you can use some natural treatments to eliminate them and to prevent a greater infestation. This is the preferred option for most people, as it means you won't need to shell out for a professional to use invasive techniques in your home. Let's take a look at some of the best natural methods of getting rid of termites and keeping them away for good. 1. Nematodes Nematodes are parasitic worms that love to munch on termites. You can buy these tiny worms online or in specialty stores, then release them into the area where you know or suspect that termites have settled in. When these beneficial nematodes come into contact with termites or other harmful insects, they invade its body and begin feeding on it. After the host is dead and consumed, the nematodes move on to their next target while breeding and multiplying the whole time. It sounds kind of gross, but they're very efficient at getting rid of termites if you introduce enough of them into the colony. 2. Vinegar Vinegar is a wonder material for any home. Not only can you use it to clean everything from your kitchen counter to shower, but you can also use it to kill termites. Just mix up half a cup of it with the juice from two lemons, and you've got your termite killer. Put it in a spray bottle and spray the mixture around the area where you suspect the termites. The acidic substance will kill the termites on contact. Make sure you spray regularly to catch any termites you didn't get with the last treatment. 3. Borate Sodium borate, sold commonly as borax powder, can kill termites, as well as wash your laundry. Borax is better to use outside, but if you do want to use it inside, just add one teaspoon of the acid to one cup of water that's warm in a spray bottle. Just shake up the bottle until the mixture is dissolved, then use it where needed. Use this method for around a week and then look around for signs of its effect on the treated areas. As with vinegar, you'll need to reapply the solution to ensure that you're reaching more of the colony. It's a good idea to wear a mask and goggles when using and to be extra careful around children. 4. Orange Oil Orange oil is made up of a compound which is deadly to termites. The oil is derived from orange peels and you can buy it from home improvement or garden stores as well as online. Orange oil causes the exoskeletons of termites to dissolve, which causes them to lose moisture and proteins, which eventually kills them. Spray the oil directly onto termites or in areas where you suspect termites to be. You can also spray the oil to deter termites from coming into the area. Spraying regularly is a good way to keep your home free of termites, whether you currently have any or not. 5. Wet Cardboard Termites love two things, water and cellulose. Spray down a piece of cardboard with water and you'll be setting out an all-you-can-eat buffet for termites. If you think that termites are already in your house, putting down this cardboard bait will lure them out and into a specific spot. When you see that termites have settled in for the buffet, you can take the piece of cardboard away and burn it, killing the termites with it. Repeat the process as often as necessary to draw out termites. 6. Sunlight Termites hate sunlight. In fact, they actually can die if they're exposed to too much sunlight and heat. If you have a piece of furniture you suspect to be infested with termites, you can drag it out into the yard to bake in the sun for a bit. In the summer months, it shouldn't take too long for all unwanted pests to be free of your furniture. If you have termites in your home structure, you can't exactly drag your beams out into the yard, but you can set up UV lamps to shine on the area and get the same results. 7. Remove Mulch Mulch is an ideal food source for termites. Not only is it made of cellulose, but it retains moisture. Just removing it from around your home can prevent termites from showing up in the first place. Check your plant pots and move them elsewhere if you suspect they may be linked to your termite problem. 8. Cayenne Pepper While cayenne pepper adds a nice kick to your family's pot of chili, it can also be a termite's worst nightmare. Capsaicin is an active chemical in cayenne pepper that makes it really hot and spicy. This chemical will also kill termites by severely damaging their nervous system. Cayenne pepper is a great organic termite control. 
For small areas that have termite problems, try just sprinkling the pepper generously in the desired area and repeat until you find all of the termites have been eliminated. Another option is to create a kind of paste by mixing vegetable oil with the pepper and applying it to any spot that's infested for a few days. Use this method for around 4 to 5 days, then check to see how effective the mixture has been. 9. Diatomaceous Earth Diatomaceous earth is a type of sand that's unique because it's made up of fossilized algae. It has a lot of different uses, including various health benefits. Another lesser-known use of this sand is to kill termites. For humans, this sand is harmless, but to pests, it's quite dangerous. This is because diatomaceous earth has razor-sharp particles. These edges cut through the pest's outer layer when they come in contact, which allows moisture to escape from their bodies. Diatomaceous earth has absorptive capabilities and draws all the moisture. Because of a termite's delicate water balance, it's not able to survive. This material can be spread both indoors, outdoors, and even into food. 10. Salt while salt seems relatively harmless, it can strike fear into the hearts of the bravest termites. Concentrated amounts of salt will cause the termites to get dehydrated and die. All you have to do is combine salt and warm water in a normal quart jar and mix it up until you have a nice, even mixture. The more salt, the better. Fill a standard syringe with this salty water mixture and squirt it directly into any entry or exit points you've discovered. After you've administered the mixture to the main spots of infestation, use it preventatively by spreading it around your house or any places of major concern. This method probably won't kill all of the termites, but will definitely be a good option preventatively or with smaller infestations. Remember that with most of these termite removal methods, you might need to try consistent and regular usage of a combination of treatments to see an effective change to your home's infested areas. It's also a good idea to do proper inspections of your property to make sure you know which of these options is the best fit for your situation. Some substances will work better with certain types of termites. While these treatments are best for small and isolated infestations of termites, such as a new infestation in a piece of furniture or a pile of firewood that you don't want to spread, you're unlikely to have major success using these treatments for termites in your home. The reason is that termites can quickly dig deep into spaces you can't see or reach. If you suspect a termite problem is out of your hands, you may be best contacting a professional to deal with the situation. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. I'm sure you'll enjoy our next video on the amazing benefits of celery juice. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Watch you.